So how does a mortgage REIT work? So the big difference between a mortgage REIT or a REIT in general, as compared to a debt fund, is that it is taxed as a C corporation. And that results in certain tax ramifications. There are also certain tax rules for REITs that require REITs to distribute at least 90% of their taxable income and have at least 75% of their assets in real estate related investments. On top of all that, REITs have certain compliance requirements. They, they're, they're prohibited from having what's called bad income that's generated from active trader business and also have specific rules on investor composition. So think of it as a debt fund that has more rules and restrictions, but in exchange for those rules and restrictions, you get a lot of tax benefits. So by being a REIT currently under the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, a REIT gets a 20% deduction on its dividends to its investors. It also blocks UBTI, also blocks state withholding and state returns, and finally blocks effective connected income for your offshore investors. So these are the benefits you get in exchange for those restrictions. And this is a basic summary of how mortgage REITs work.